Hey everyone, this is a follow up from yesterday's tutorial. So go my profile or link in the description and check out this tutorial first, where you will learn how you can create this really cool shape. And in this tutorial, we will create the manual fillets and you will learn some really cool surface modeling tips and tricks. So let's dive in. We will go from this shape here, where we can't fillet anything, to this shape here and guys look this this is it's perfect it's, this is literally perfection and you, you will learn so key yeah filleting techniques and it's so much fun to practice all that so let's dive in and if you have the solid just delete that bottom face or select it just shift x delete it because we want to work with uh, surfaces and now very simple we go because we so the, every quarter is the same so we just want to work with one quarter so create the line snap to x axis snap to the middle and go down and press c and cut the surface delete perfect so we have just one slice here and now again maybe you know this already but we have to now to separate all of those edges into curves and then those curves we will transform into pipes and then we will use the pipes to boolean a hole into the surface and then we will patch literally everything back together. Yeah, this is the only way to, to really create perfect fillets. So let's start with this one at the bottom, select it, shift D, duplicate and rebuild it and create some points so you have a nice smooth line. Press P for pipe and just give it here a nice little uh, thickness, 0, 002, that's fine. And delete the curve and select this face, drag that out a little bit and select this face, drag that out a little bit. Perfect. Now object mode, select surface, shift pipe, press Q to boolean that out and you see we have everywhere the same distance and that just looks so clean. Yeah, so let's do the same here at the top. Select all of those edges, shift D, duplicate, rebuild it, give it a lot of points. Press P, give it the same value, press OK, delete the curve, press 3, face mode, and extrude with shift click those ones here a little bit, so they are intersecting. Press 4, object mode, select face, select the tube, and Q, so shift click, Q, and boolean that out. And now the last piece uh, will be a little, little bit different. Um, select this edge, shift D, and rebuild it, give it a lot of points. And oh no, before we do that, so rebuild it. And this actually looks, and give it here, go to points. So we have 10 points and this is fine. And now go to the top view and basically drag this guy here a little bit out. Um, because otherwise sometimes, so yes, here you will see it. So if you select this point, if you will just pipe it, sometimes this pipe goes uh, not there where we want it. And, and then it, it will be just a little bit harder to loft and, and, and patch. So you will see in a second what I mean. So just follow along, go to the top view, select this point, And again, drag this a little bit out and go here to the right view, drag that a little bit here to the top. It will just make our life a little bit easier when we take this curve now and press pipe uh, P and uh, pipe it, so delete now this curve. And now, because here you see, we have to extrude this a little bit and then it will stop here because sometimes it's, 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 it's going like in a very weird direction. So that was when I was practicing. So just do that. And with time, you will just see and, and, and learn when you have to adjust curves and when uh, not. So it really depends a lot of any every case. So that's why we are doing this practice. And uh, uh, extrude this the same and you see everything looks fine. Now again, object mode, select this surface and Q, boolean that out, but don't delete this tube. Press T, T uh, for keeping tools. Press OK because we need this pipe here also for this surface. So select it, shift click this pipe and now delete everything. And look guys, isn't that beautiful? Look everywhere, exactly the 100% same distance. And it just looks so clean. 
and now we can have so much fun to fillet that. So very important. So you see, we have this Y hole, Y connection, right? So here at the top and the bottom, and you have to understand how to solve that. Once you understand that, I don't know, it's, uh, it changes everything and it, everything will be so much smoother for us or for you. So the, the, the thing is, um, just remember this shape here. It's a pentagon, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so five edges. You have to remember this shape here. So here the two, they flow into one fillet, right? So you have to remember the shape. Why is it? Because now you know that you have to create here an extra edge on this surface, then here an extra edge, here an extra edge, and here an extra edge, okay? So we can fill it this edge with this one. We can fill it this one with this one because here it will be a nice fillet, here it will be a nice fillet, and here it will be a nice fillet. And then this at the very end, we can create a beautiful, beautiful patch. And it's always the same process, so let's go through it two times. So select this face and control R, press tab and create here. So they are like 90 degrees. The same here, select the face, control R and add here an edge. And here we have it already. So we don't need an edge here because this edge ends here already. And the same here, press tab and end it here. So let's start to loft it. And let's start to loft that. Okay, that's a long one. I don't know if this will work. And yeah, so it doesn't work. So again, just add here an edge because you have here at the bottom one and also here surface and add an edge. You add an edge with isoparam control R. So let's now again loft it. Beautiful. And now we want to continue here. So the patch we will do at the end, but now we don't need those edges anymore. So select this and control D or delete redundant topology command. And let's do the same here. So here this edge ends. So that means that we need here an extra edge. And the same here, we need here an extra edge and here an extra edge. So select it, control R, isoparam and do the same. Perfect. And also we don't need this edge anymore. So select just the, only that edge and press X and delete it. Perfect. And now you look how beautiful everything will work out. So press loft the same this guy here and it doesn't work exactly because I deleted that edge here so just add it back control arm and now we can loft it and the same here select this select this loft it and now before we patch it press for join so select everything in object mode join and look guys how isn't that beautiful and now it's even better if you press 2 and alt click this edge and patch it and press tab, bam, guys. I don't know what about you, but it's 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 impossible to do it in a better way. I, I mean, if someone here is with 20 years of experience working at Porsche, I, I'm sure he can teach me millions of things, but I mean, what everyone else is showing you like on YouTube and other places, this is the best uh, technique here. And look, shift three patch, Press tab and go. <laughs> okay, guys, it's absolutely perfect. You can't do it better. It's, 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 I don't know. It's, look, it's so, so fun. Yeah, so you can use this all the time in, in your own projects. Um, yeah. Um, so again, go to the top, your radial array, array it four times, join it, and select everything, control D to get rid of all of those crazy stuff. And look what a beautiful thing we have here. And yeah, so let me know or post your results or if you use this technique in somewhere in your own project, it would be really cool. Just let people know, let me know, uh, get some feedback and see you in our next one. Have a nice day. Bye.